let's get a few things straight off the bat here, all right? Before I actually do the actual toy, because I, I feel like I'm never gonna review these toys at all, but here, here's a Quattle Penguin. Uh, it doesn't actually, well, I don't know. It, the motor, there's a problem with the motor and it's been like that ever since I first got it on Christmas day, so there you go. Um, I'm going in my closet. There's the Remo drum. I obviously can't get that down, even though there's puppets on it, because I have all this stuff on it. So don't expect a review on that anytime soon. And then finally, the um, the saxophone from Baby Bach and Baby Beethoven, the purple mouth one. Um, and it's uh, it's broken. Um, yeah, there's like a giant crack all around it, but hopefully I can get a new one soon. Bach or not, Bach or Meteor, I don't care which one. But I thought it was just worth pointing out those three, really. Um, anyways, um, today we're actually going to be reviewing the second most voted toy on the poll. Just a little special, you know. You know, just a little special review for today, because, you know, I feel like it. And plus, I have all of these other boxes that I feel like I need to review before I bring it downstairs. Um, but yeah, this one does not have a box, unfortunately, but however, I did get it literally exactly like, I believe like one year ago, actually. It was definitely in somewhere in July that I got it of last year, so I don't know, basically I'd probably consider it like a one year thing. But, um, yeah, um, if you guys are probably wondering what it is, well, then check the polls, dumbasses. Or, you know, just watch the video, you know. Just wait here for five seconds in dead silence. Okay, I think that's enough. Here it is. The, uh, the centipede from, uh, Language Nursery. But also in Baby Lullaby 2. The bonus features. Even though it is the same clip, I don't really think it matters. But I really don't count, uh, second appearances, really. I only count its first appearance, and obviously this first appearance was in Language Nursery, so that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be counting it as. But yeah, this is the Centipede from Language Nursery. Um, I think this was made by, like, two or three different companies. Um, one of them was EL, uh, I want to say ELC for some reason, but it's not, it's like early years or fun years or whatever. I don't know, it's like... I, I forget that first one. It's the it's the centipede variation with the with the extended body, like with the three or four other body pieces. I don't know why sometimes toys actually like make two different variations. It's literally just like the machine ball factory. Like you have like obviously the original comes with four balls, but for some reason you have another one that comes with six balls. Like you know what I mean? Like that's just what the fuck. But anyways, the same thing with the centipede. I don't know why some people are saying that. Okay, so obviously a couple of, like I think about a, it's been on for like a year now actually, so I can't say like a couple of months ago. So about a year ago, we all know that Jagger made that uh, that toy dock, right? And then obviously it came it came with the uh, the fucking points thing, which to me is just fucking retarded, and. Um, yeah, and for some reason it mentioned that I'm missing the centerpiece. I believe what he means is the uh, the orange piece that went with this. But literally, like, come on. You think everyone's going to have that piece? No. In fact, literally everyone that I know so far that has it literally has just this part. Just these two pieces. Like, you know, like, here's the head. One part of the body. Other part of the body. Tail. Well, actually, except for, like, one or two people, they probably only have, like, the one one body piece and then the head and the tail, and that's it, really. But, um, yeah, mine's the Language Nursery variation, and I think I made, it like, one Language Nursery. I made a clip of this already, and I think you've already seen it in, um, B, um Baby Austin Collector's uh, Beethoven remake, I think. But, yeah, this is it right here. I can't obviously, like, do it that much because I'm on a carpet. But yeah, this is definitely one of the more, actually, I'd say probably one of the most top 10 best finds of 2021 for me. This is definitely a top 10 one. Even though Trilusion is most likely is, and I don't know, really. I haven't made a top 10 list. I know what my top three are, however, but 
you know, I don't know if this is in my top five. I don't know, it might be in my top five, who knows. All I, all I do know is that this is one of the biggest ones out there. It's definitely in my top ten, and it was definitely worth it. I got it on Marketplace for like, I don't know, I want to say like 10, 10 to 20 bucks, I think, or maybe 15. I don't know. I All I remember is I got it on Marketplace. It was in Alabama, um, and the, for the seller at first, and this is actually going to come up with from another toy that I got exactly around the exact same time I got this. And um, I'll review that actually a little bit later on, but but um, the seller refused at first. Um, but we eventually convinced them to, you know, like have it shipped only the centipede only, like this thing, you know. And honestly, it like I don't even care if it was literally like a hundred dollars or whatever they they wanted for. I don't care how much they wanted for or for like the price or whatever. It was worth it to me. Like, it was definitely worth getting the centipede, even though there was, like, three or five of them on eBay all around this year. But let's be honest, they were all pretty expensive. I wouldn't have been able to get any of them. There was, like, one for, like, 40 bucks. Fuck no, I'm not going to get that. I mean, unless if it's, like, one of your most wanted toys, then I guess that's reasonable enough, but, you know. Uh, but, yeah, uh, this one, however, like I said for the company earlier... This one is made by Blue Box. I'm assuming it's like a ripoff company. And um, we already know Blue Box was responsible for the sight and sound helicopter. Although, to be honest, Patat also was responsible for it. So, can't really blame them. Um, and also, this thing can also fall, um, come apart. Oop. <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah, it's just... Wow. But yeah, it comes in four parts here's the tail part the dome you have the green piece you have the yellow piece they're also like there's a butterfly in there and it's like and this one's a flower i think the uh i don't know i think the uh uh the third piece is probably like another butterfly or flower and then i think there is actually another piece that's also a ball i think like a little ball inside. But yeah, here's the main piece. Yeah, how are you gonna pull it along if it's like this? Like you're gonna have to drag it like this. Yeah, that's that's so fun. But yeah, you can't have a centipede without the pieces at least, so I'm gonna connect this back together. Yeah, see this is this is kinda more like it. You can also move the head too actually. Kind of did that right there. Just okay. I'm gonna have to, and then this piece. I have to put this down for just a second. There you go. There, centipede's back in action. Yeah, let's just make it go off. Yeah, but it's 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 a cool toy. I like it. Like, like I said, definitely one of my top ten favorite toys to find of twenty twenty one. Can't really say for certain it's in my top five, but I can definitely say for certain it's definitely in my top ten. Um, I don't know what else to say about this other than the fact that it's definitely one of the cooler toys. Oh, and it also became one of the biggest. Um, it also became I think an iconic toy actually because. You know, it became. It also became the mascot of uh, Baby Einstein. Well, one of the mascots. Yeah, it was the the caterpillar in the beginning of the DVDs, and also maybe the caterpillar from uh, from Language Nursery two thousand three or for whatever DVDs. You know, the later versions of the cover. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I guess that's. Uh, I guess that's also worth noting. I always thought it was. When I was younger, I was like, oh, wait a minute, that's the caterpillar that's on the cover. And, you know, obviously I didn't realize until later that that was the, uh, that was the later versions of the cover. The obvi obviously the, the, um, the older covers were, uh, the Happy Starfish one, all right? That was, like, the first ever Baby Einstein mascot. And then there was the centipede, I actually know, then it was, uh, no, then it was uh, the Sun Pendulum with the Webster. Oh, wait, no, and also the Animal Marching Band Bear. Can't forget about that, too. 
But yeah, um, nothing really else to say about this, but um, yeah, it's, it's a really cool toy. And um, yeah, that's about it for the video. If you guys enjoyed this review, make sure you guys like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Road to, two, road to 2K, guys. We're almost there. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.